listening to the Huff and Gill Show with your host, Tyler Huff and Earl Gill on 107.9 The Fan. Hello here, everybody. My name is Cobra Powell, and you're joining me with the one-on-one with the Powell Hour. Uh, my name is Cobra Powell, like you, you know, I said before. Yeah, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, I'm down here in Texas, I kind of playing with A&M right now. Oh, man, I had a coach back in high school, right? Uh, he coached me, Coach P. So, um, let me see. He called me, actually moving day at another school I was already committed to, already. So he was like, hey, yo, uh, Kobe, because I reached out to him, like, weeks before, because I ain't really just had nowhere. I had a few spots, but I wasn't, you know, trying to lock in with them. So, um, he called me last minute. He was like, hey, I had sound to uh, come down here to uh, Texas. So I was like, Texas? Oh, okay. I want, yeah, like, I'm cutting everything out. That's the first thing I heard. But he's a cool, you know, he's a cool guy. We've been locked in, so I knew he was going to lead me in the right place, you know, basketball-wise, education-wise. I know, yeah, he's the right guy for that. So, the other school I had, I actually cut them off type stuff. And I shot out her to Texas, like, the same day. See, my journey, it was, I can say it was a hard, it was it was a hard journey for me. Really, I played every sport, really. I played football, soccer, all that. But I locked in with the basketball stuff. We got a lot of kids in Memphis. Like, I know y'all watched them. Like, everybody really liked that type stuff. So you got a lot of good guys and, you know, a lot of people look over you like if you ain't got the size or you know you miss anything see me i'm a short guard so a lot of people really ain't just too much looking for you know short guards type stuff so i just had to do different stuff like i'd be a, i'm a dog on defense i do the list of you know i get at it i'm an athlete though so really it wasn't just too too hard because they see the talent in me and I knew somebody would give me a chance to go somewhere. And right out of Memphis, I went to JUCO. Uh, did my th- I went to Wilder State over there by uh, UT Knoxville. Good experience out there, actually. It was a first, it, my freshman year, it was rough. For real, like, none of the coaches liked me. None like that, like, it was bad. It was bad experience. But, you know, I ain't run away from that. I stayed with it. I stayed with it, like the coaches told me, like, one of the coaches told me, like, I'm not going to go nowhere after this type of stuff, you know. Or oh, this time, you probably thought, you know, the next person would have got up out of there. I stayed with it. Sophomore year, I was that guy around there. No cap. So, I stuck with it. Uh, we actually did it. We did our thing out there for sure. Man, I ain't going to count. Yeah, like you said, maybe I ain't going to lie. You just got a lot of, you got a Focus on what you want to do for real, because there's a lot of temptations. Like, yeah, go with this crowd, do this. Like, you got to pick one. You really can't do both. Like, if somebody said they doing both, they have stepping on whatever they doing. But me, I, you know, I was, I, I want to say I was just, you know, bad, this and that. But I was for a little second, but I opened my eyes up like, nah, this is what I really want to do. So... I ain't really just, you know. You saw the bigger picture. Yeah. Ooh, right, man. See, I switch my game up. Play, I play like a different player every every year. I would, I can say James Hard. I ain't gonna lie. I like James Hard. Cause I, every, well, James Hard offensively wise, cause I got all the step backs in me, side steps. I got all the creativity, you know. Things he do, there's, there's, that's what I do, type stuff. Like, I make it happen that way. Now, now defensive-wise, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Pat Bell. I'm a Pat Bell type. So you guy. harassing everybody? Yeah, I'm harassing. You ain't getting past me. None of that. It, I'm everywhere. Yeah, James Harden, that's who I say I play like. So I did see you average 14.8 game, 14.8 points per game your first year here at A&M. And last season you had 16 points a game. Talk about the development of your game. You know, and what's changed over your time here and how have you gotten better? Um, just working. Like like when I first got here, you know, 
I came here, I was ready. I was already ready, like, like I was ready to work from the jump. So I got out here. I ain't know who was the guy, who was that guy at Texas a and But I just came here feeling good off my last year and said, I'm just gonna pick out what I, pick out where I left off at Walter State. So I got here ready to work from the jump. Um, becoming a leader and just, you know, like, making it happen for my team. And then last year, I felt like I had to step it up. I seen I averaged, it was actually like 15, six and five. But I seen what I did last year. I said, okay, I, I, I like them numbers, but can I go harder than that? And then it, it showed up, it showed up in the, um, at the end. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie. I still feel some type of way about two, for two years straight. We, we, well, the last year was rough. We lost first round, but the first year I was here, uh, we lost in the championship by three, this and that. I feel like we supposed to have took that guy and we did some, we had some mental uh, relap, rehabs and stuff like that. But I feel like this team mature now. Uh, we got some new kids here. We got about like six, seven new transfers, but we got some guys that's been here. We've been playing with each other. We got some chemistry going. I feel like me as a leader, me being my third year here, last year here, uh, I feel like I can lead this team to something. I can just say, I can just say we can win the Red River. Like, I feel like I got confidence in that. I got 100% confidence we're going to win. Personal goals, uh, do better in every stat or every stat I did last year. Uh, help the guys that don't know, you know, that's new around her uh, in the system, help them out. Um, and just do better than what I did last year. Cause last year wasn't good enough. But it got me this far. And this really, at one point, this, this really all I got type stuff. So it's like miss a mate type stuff. Like I'm, I'm all in right now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm all in. Locked in, all in. Last question I have for you, if you had any advice for any young kid out there who might be chasing the same goals that you're chasing in the future, what would be your advice to them? If you really want to make something happen, uh, what you're doing, get it, get it, whatever you're doing, all your attention. Don't, don't try to be, you know, doing this and that on the side, this and that, just lock in on what you want to do type stuff. And don't tell nobody what you can't do. That's what's up, bro. Appreciate you pulling up on me, man. Good luck to you this season. Appreciate that, my guy, for having me on the show. Good talk. All right, ready, bro.